Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. As a first part, we have to rewrite this equation. It is d square plus 2d plus 5 into y equal to 6 sin 3x plus 7 cos 3x. Now, as a first part of solving, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus 2m plus 5 equal to 0 and this we cannot factorize. Product is 5, sum is 2. So, we have to use the quadratic equation formula. m is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. So, the value of a is 1, b is 2 and c is 5. So, by substituting all this thing, we get m is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of 2 square is 4 minus 4ac whole divided by 2a, 2 into 1. So, we get minus 2 plus or minus root of 4 by 20, it is minus 20 plus 4, so minus 16 inside the root, whole divided by 2. And this is minus 2 plus or minus 4i by 2. By dividing individually, we get the value of m as minus 1 plus or minus 2i. This is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta. By comparison, we get alpha is minus 1 and beta is 2. So for this, the complementary function is e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. So the complementary function is e power minus x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now the solution set is having two elements. The term with c1 is e power minus x into cos 2x and another element is with c2 which is e power minus x into sin 2x. So we got the solution set but on the right hand side we have 6 sin 3x and 7 cos 3x. So sin 3x and cos 3x is not a part of the solution set yes. Therefore, the particular integral we have to assume it as c3 cos 3x plus c4 sin 3x. Now we have to find its first derivative and second derivative. Its first derivative is c3 into minus sin 3x into 3. So I will put the 3 here. Then plus c4 into cos 3x into 3. Totally this is minus 3c3 into sin 3x plus 3c4 into cos 3x. Now its second derivative sin 3x derivative is cos 3x into 3. Already there is one minus 3 so minus 9 c3 into cos 3x. Then this will become minus and into 3 will come. So 9 c4 into sin 3x. Now we have to substitute all this in the question. In the question the first term is y double dash then plus 2 y dash then plus 5y. So y double dash we have to substitute this so minus 9 c3 into cos 3x minus 9 c4 into sin 3x then the second term is plus 2y dash so y dash is here since it is 2y dash we have to multiply this with 2 so minus 6 c3 into sin 3x plus 6 c4 into cos 3x. Then the last term 
this plus 5y. So 5 times of this 5c3 cos 3x plus 5c3 cos 3x again plus 5c4 sin 3x plus 5c4 sin 3x and on the other side we have 6 sin 3x plus 7 cos 3x plus 6 sin 3x plus 7 cos 3x. Now let's add all the like terms here minus 9c3 then minus 6c3 then plus 5c3. By adding all this thing we get minus 10 c3 actually the other terms are not same so we cannot add directly so let's take only cos 3x term so this is cos 3x and cos 3x and cos 3x so the coefficient of cos 3x is minus 9 c3 then plus 6 c4 plus 5 c3 and on the other side cos 3x coefficient is 7. So here I can add c3 so minus 4 c3 plus 6 c4 equal to 7 is our first equation. In the same way let's take the sin 3x and we add and equate to the other side coefficient of sin 3x. So this is minus 9 c4 then minus 6 c3 then the third term plus 5 c4 and on the other side sin 3x coefficient is 6 so here let's add the like term so first term is minus 6 c3 and then we have minus 4 c4 equal to 6 so we got the second equation now we have to solve this to find the value of c3 and c4. So let's make the same coefficients. So first equation into this is minus 4 minus 6. So I will make this into 3 so that I get minus 12. Similarly the second equation I will multiply by 2 so that I will get minus 12. So first equation into 3 will give minus 12 c3 plus 18 c4 equal to 7 3 is 21. Then second equation into 2 gives minus 12 c3 minus 4 to are 8 c4 equal to 6 to are 12. Now we have to subtract. So we have to change the sign of all the second terms. Then after changing the sign these two terms we can cancel. The first term one is positive and the other is negative. Then the remaining term 18 plus 8 that will give 26 c4 equal to 21 minus 12 so that will give 9. So from this c4 equal to 9 by 26. By substituting c4 in any of the equation let us take the first equation minus 4 c3 minus 4 c3 and the second term is plus 6 c4 so plus 6 c4 is 9 by 26 and on the other side of the first equation we have 7 so equal to 7 from this we can find c3 so it's possible to cancel this with two table so 3 and 13 so minus 4 c3 equal to 7 minus 9327 by 13 I have to take LCM and this will give 91 minus 27 and the other side minus 4 C3. So 91 minus 27 after subtraction this is 4 and we can borrow 1 so this is 8. 8 minus 2 to 6. So we get 64. So C3 equal to this minus 4 will come to the denominator and this is 64 divided by 13. After cancelling these two, 
this is 16 time. So the value of C3 is minus 16 by 13. Once we get C3 and C4, we can write the particular integral which we assumed as C3 into cos 3x plus C4 into sin 3x. So C3, the value is minus 16 by 13 into cos 3x. Then the second value is C4 sin 3x. C4 is, the value we got C4 here is 9 by 26. So plus 9 by 26 into sin 3x. Now the complete solution is y which is made up of complementary function plus particular integral. So complementary function what we got in the starting we have to copy here which is e power minus x into c1 cos 2x e power minus x into c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x along with this minus 16 by 13 into cos 3x plus 9 by 26 into sin 3x.